nasty taste in my mouth. Okay, it's like sweet. Hello, lovely people. Ugh, I can't talk. <laughs> Trying this again. Hello, lovely people, and welcome back to this week's new vlog. I'm contemplating doing a vlog this week because I didn't do so well in my last reading vlog, but I am currently reading a book. I'm still reading The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren that Coda bent in his backpack. Oh my god, there's a crease! I'm sorry. Mm. I woke up at 10 a.m. because a delivery came and then I just couldn't go back to sleep after that, so I'm running on like five and a half hours of sleep, but then I rolled around in bed for three hours just watching YouTube, catching up on booktube, even though I should have been planning my video that I want to film today. I think in like two vlogs ago, I cleaned my room because my mom's college friend was coming. It's a mess again. It's pretty disgusting. I need to hold myself accountable. I need to clean that shit up. A couple of them are like from deliveries, just paperwork, spewed like all over my desk, and then shit that I haven't unpacked. Staying over cassetting. I think I'm going to unbox my package and show you guys what I got. It's not very fitting for the season at all, but it's from Faithful, the brand, which I've only shopped at once before I got this. I call it my sunflower dress, but it's actually a marguerite dress, which is um, daisies in French. And I love it. I wore it for my birthday. I can't fucking find my dress. Oh, here. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, here. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it also. It was on a sale already from 189 to 111 or something like that. And then Boxing Day happened and they had a huge sale and it was like 79 or 70 bucks or something like that. So I jumped on that and it's a jumpsuit. It's the same exact design, but I love it. It fits really well. It's not tight and restricting at all. And it's like not too loose either. It has pockets, which is amazing. And I have like a really small butt, but this doesn't drown it out. I'm really short. I'm five feet and a half and I'm sure this is supposed to be cropped, but it like ends perfectly I love it and then it comes with a zipper on the side It's a hidden zipper and it looks so good. I can't wait to till I get to warmer so I can wear this Yay. I realized I didn't talk about the book that I'm reading and I thought that it would fit perfectly with the outfit that I'm wearing because it's sort of summery vacation-y. So this book is a romance. I'm reading it as a part of Smutathon, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to vlog. I'm sort of one foot in, one foot out for Smutathon because I'm not really prepared, but this book does fit for three of the prompts, so I'm thinking I could sort of stretch out the other books that I have. Olive's twin sister, Amelia, and Ethan's younger brother, Dane. I swear to God, I don't know his name. It's Dave or Dane. They got married. And Olive and Ethan do not like each other, but at the wedding, everyone got sick at the seafood buffet, but Olive and Ethan are the only ones who didn't have seafood, so they didn't get sick. And because they have the same last name as their siblings, obviously, they are taking this free vacation and they have to pretend that they are newlyweds, so they can reap all of the benefits for this free resort vacation. After a while of pretending, Olive is realizing that she doesn't really mind pretending anymore. So this would fit the prompt of recommended to me because this was all over booktube, so I'm taking that as a recommendation. This also fits fake marriage slash relationship, which I actually forgot that it does. And then the third one is new to you or out of comfort zone or something like that because I find it weird that Olive and Ethan are technically related by law and I know it's not any by like by blood and it's not truly incestuous but that still feels a little weird to me same goes for any stepbrother sibling stepmom whatever relationship is weird to me hopefully I get further into this because I'm only on page 119 which is not very far at all This looks sound kind of messy, but I was lining up my video here. This is always going to stay messy because like Coda stuff is here. So it kind of just makes it look extra cluttered. And then this will hopefully go away as I read them over the years. So it doesn't look clean, but I swear like I'd clean. <laughs> Okay, 
So Coda and I are headed out to Nighthawk to go see Knives Out. Have I read? No. Usually reading vlogs really help to keep me accountable, but I don't know what's going on. But I am like halfway through it. I didn't update you guys because I read a bunch yesterday. So far, all of and Ethan are in their fake marriage. And you can tell they're sort of starting to like each other and tolerate each other just a little bit more. It's pretty cute. A lot of crazy things are happening. Of course, it's like any vacation where you're hoping not to run into certain people and you do. I'll let you guys know how Knives Out is going to be. But because of my no buy code, I bought the tickets. So I will be buying dinner. I just finished reading the last 200 or so pages of The Unhoneymooners and I'm also going to give this book 3.5 stars. This is actually my first adult romance by Christina Lauren. Um, I've only read Autobiography before, which I loved. I really do like Olive and Ethan and I think that their personalities are very realistic, but I just, some parts of it I couldn't really grasp. Um, it didn't feel too much like a romance to me and not as smutty as I thought it would be which is sort of disappointing because this is smutathon a little bit of the star docking was for the weird date twins dating brothers trope but also because i don't know how to put it to words still i'm glad that i read this and i will be interested in reading other christina lauren books but i think the hype was just a little too high for me and i had really high expectations for it I mean, it was nice to kind of get away from this winter weather into nice hawaiian beachy weather i read a lot today and i didn't think i would be able to read this much so i'm really glad also in terms of knives out i really liked it it sort of made me think that it gave sherlock holmes a little bit of a run for his money i thought daniel craig was hilarious and i knew it i was like 80 90 percent of the way there i just couldn't tell who did it but i really really liked anna de armas basically the main character i'm actually on my way to get my haircut it's really windy hopefully you can hear me I'm Cutting it really short to donate for cancer patients to use as a wig. This is my second or third time doing it, so I'm really excited. And this is the after. I've donated, I think, once or twice before, but never have I cut it this short. It was usually resting on my shoulders. I'm debating whether or not I want to keep my hair short for the year or not because I've never done that before. And maybe I'll experiment a little with dyeing my hair. The woman that I go to has been cutting my hair since I was a kid. So she knows me. She's cut the hair for everyone in my family, even for my boyfriend once. So she really knows my hair. For books, I haven't read anything today because I just woke up and went. But the book that I plan on reading is not the girl you marry by andy j christopher this book will fit the fake dating prompt for smutathon it follows jack and hannah and jack is a journalist who is doing a piece on how to dump a girl and that's when he meets hannah hannah is a event planner and she's trying to show her boss that she has feelings and can do weddings even which thinks are so annoying in order to get a promotion so they're both sort of using each other to move forward in their jobs and then i went to the library because i was able to pick up this this became available for me saga volume three this series is like sci-fi but like fantasy it's about marco and alana and they are actually from different planets that are at war with each other so they're supposed to hate each other but they actually fell in love he was a prisoner and she was the guard this is the third book obviously it's really cool i like the artwork but it's also very vulgar dark and sometimes a little porny i'm really happy with my hair Oh my god, I feel so much more adult with this hair. Yay! I'm really excited to keep it short for the year. I know it'll be a little bit more money because I usually just cut it once a year to trim off the dead ends. But, you know, trying something new for the decade and even dyeing it would be really new for me as well. So, we'll see you now. It's a Thursday. I woke up with yet another dry throat, but this time I'm coughing. I thought I got through everyone. My mom was sick. My sister was sick. Coda was sick. My co-workers are sick. And I never get sick, but I can feel it coming on. So, I'm definitely taking all the precautions 
stationary measures today. My book of the month came yesterday and I chose the Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. I do have a book of the month code so please look down below if you're interested in that. It's a subscription service that I've been using and is the only books that I will be getting this year because of my no buy policy. If you wanted to hear more about that please check out my bookish goals and 2020 TBR video. This book, the synopsis reading it is, I feel like it doesn't really do the book justice. I had trouble deciding which books that I wanted to pick. I had three choices but what hooked me was reading this um a little sample of this which is basically like page there might be two timelines i'm not sure it all takes place in upstate new york in a place called fell one woman named viv in 1982 and then carly in 2017 so basically what the first page tells you is that carly works at the night hotel or she works the night shift at this hotel motel and she doesn't like being there because she can be alone and the hotel motel is kind of haunted so it gives me sort of bad times at the el royale vibe and a little bit of bates motel in the more in the sense that it's like kind of creepy when i was flipping through this book to like read the first page to my boyfriend i saw the acknowledgments of dedication and it says for the odd girls, the nerdy girls, and the murderino, this one is yours. And if you didn't know, favorite podcast is My Favorite Murder, hosted by Karen Kilgar and Georgia Hartstark, who I love. Yes, I'm a true crime fan. Also, if you have true crime books that you think I should read, please let me know about them. Or if you're murderino, let me know. So that makes me so much more excited to get to this book. It's also not as long as I thought it would be. As you can tell, I do have a couple of books of the month that I need to catch up on. So I'm really excited for this. It has a January 2020 emblem. And as for my book update, I was reading Not the Girl You Marry by Andy G. Christopher. I didn't get far into it at all yesterday. I didn't read at all. I think I read like maybe 30 pages. Andy and... Nope, that's not that's the author's name. Jack and Hannah meet almost right away. They're sort of a sudden attraction. They are talking and getting to know each other, but I'm not really sure what's going to happen so far. I do like it, but what I liked um, that I'm really glad that I read the author's note at the very beginning and how she wanted to create a character who was biracial. She's black and white and struggled with that and like struggled with that within herself but also having people understand that about her and she wanted some to create a character that she could relate to because she's also a mixed race and i thought that was really great we'll see if i actually read because i feel like i haven't been trying that at all yay it's actually tuesday the next week i didn't finish vlogging because of how sick i felt i am actually on the mend i would say sunday was the worst it had been um now i'm just coughing a lot but I don't have a dry throat anymore, which is like the worst pain. And I do have a bit of a runny nose, but I can still breathe out of my nose and taste things. So it's not the absolute worst. It's not like as stuffy as it can possibly be. <clears throat> but the last time I talked to you guys, I think I was starting to read Saga Volume 3, which I finished. And I just went to the library and I picked up three books. Volume 4 of Saga, which I started on the train. And they actually had Saga Volume 5, which I thought I was on hold for a lot longer, but glad that I could read these back to back now and I also have the glass castle Erica who I went to brunch with in my last vlog she said that she really enjoyed this and I really enjoyed the movie of it since I only finished the vlog on Tuesday on Thursday I thought I would just spend today and tomorrow wrapping the vlog up I didn't read anything yesterday I feel like I'm falling into a bit of a reading slump again which sucks because the year just started I have completed four books already for the year I'm already one book behind and the thing with keeping putting my goal to really hot to a really high one it's at 150 books i don't really mind i don't feel pressured at all to rush and to read all these books i don't feel like it's a chore which i understand why some people might and why they set their goals intentionally really low so that they don't feel the pressure at all but i'm not setting my goal to feel like it's work or anything like that i literally i'm in the slump because i just haven't been putting the time aside to read so i wanted to take today and tomorrow to just really get back into reading again i know it's graphic novels but um i also want to get into my book of the month which is over there and i'm too lazy to get it i'm pretty sure i did the unboxing with you guys i want to take today to do more reading and since i was already starting to read volume four i thought that would be great it's the wednesday i thought i didn't have to go into work said my boss just said i have to come in there's literally only two reservations so i'm annoyed because i'm still sick and i'm on my period i'm just not in a good mood today i'm gonna be moving on to saga volume five i feel like 
after the third one or sort of the second one i'm sort of getting confused about what's going on i'm still interested in finishing the series but for volume four i think i gave it three stars and i gave volume <coughs> three four stars but i feel like it could have been given a three i have no idea where the direction of the story is going anymore so i'm sort of just reading it to find out what's gonna happen and also because i'm not the girl you marry was a 2.5 i'm thinking of returning it to barnes and noble i gave this one 2.5 stars because it just seemed that jack was too perfect and i didn't understand any of his flaws about like his supposed mommy issues about why his girlfriends keep dumping him and i also didn't understand why hannah was so upset at the end because jack and hannah both used each other for their careers but somehow hannah was the only one that was really angry about it I didn't see any of jack's emotions regarding that I thought it was weird that he called her duchess i really wanted to like this but it was really disappointing i was gonna end the vlog yesterday but i'm actually doing something today i'm just doing like a quick errand today that i wanted to kind of keep in here so last night i finished Saga volume 5 on the train and then I immediately started the Sundown Motel by Simone St. James which is my book of the month. I'm really enjoying it and I'm only on page 24 but this is straight up a book from Murderinos. It's already so much of a Murderinos book like a true crime buffs book and I'm really enjoying it. It's sort of creepy because it switches back from the timeline of 1982 and 2017. Viv in 1982 and Carly Viv's niece in 2017. Viv has disappeared and Carly is trying to find out what happened to her. I'm about to eat like a quick little breakfast lunch sort of thing which is basically just leftovers and then I'm gonna head out to go pick up Coda's birthday present. He doesn't know I'm doing this because we said no presents for our birthdays. So this woman who is like my aunt, she's my mom's friend. Her and her husband moved back to Japan but she had a lot of old kimonos that she now makes into Hawaiian shirts which and they are so cool because they're printed from real silk like real kimono material and i bought two of those for her uh for koda and they're designs that i know that he likes because and her son i guess my cousin went back to japan recently and he came back so i'm gonna go pick those up from him at his workplace and that's literally the only errand that i'm doing but i'm like gonna dress all nice make myself feel better because of this as you can see the mirror in the foyer has been repurchased since it broke when Nico was here. So this is the OOTD. The main attraction is obviously this coat. And I'm wearing these blue earrings from Madewell to match the blue vibe. Also because of my nails. So I'm wearing this turtleneck because it's super windy today. And I'm realizing I forgot my scarf, but I'll get that later. And this is an old turtleneck from Forever 21 that has the cutest little elbow patches. And then I'm wearing my Uniqlo Ultra Down for extra warmth. And I have my pants that i forgot to rebutton my favorite american eagle jeans that i wear like all the time i have my new knee-high boots from sam Madelman. and this coat my new lovely girl is from and other stories and it's my longest coat so it makes me feel really fancy always so I'm getting ready for bed and I'm closing out this vlog but I'm not even going to try to mention what I read, read I read because I honestly don't know I think I only read Saga and that's it but I only got a little bit further into the Sundown Motel I'm now only I only read like 20 pages Oh my, regardless, I'm really enjoying it. I wanted to scrap this vlog, but the only reason why I saved it was because I wanted to document my haircut because I didn't get to do that. And I feel like vlogs are really great for like those sort of keepsake reasons. So I'm gonna close out this vlog. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'm better by the next time I'm vlogging next. <coughs> Bye. <laughs>